sort of come out and do a bit more street scrapping. Take that scooter. I only got the little one today. We won't be doing cans today, I don't think. But we'll take that scooter. Fold him down. Make a bit of room. It's a drizzly wet day. Oh. I'm just going to put it there. We will, probably won't get much. But anyway, move on up. I think we've got a heater or something over here. Yes, we've got a heater. I'll take the whole thing. And there's 20 cents in there too. Tools to get there. Yeah, I didn't bring any tie downs today either. Bugger. Anyway, a couple more items here. What do we got? No. No. What are they? Injectors. Mm. little gas cooker by the looks of it yeah no I'll leave that one right here I wonder if it's got the battery in it which is it's wet here I wonder a couple of TVs even there yeah, the batteries are in it grab a tools This is wet, very wet here. Whoops, go slip sliding here, not careful. Snips, didn't grab them. <sighs> Certainly getting rained on. Hole there, damn. What else we got here? TVs, oh, they've got cords. Sweet. Oh, one's got cords. Drag him up on the road a bit. I flip him over. Take that. I think that's about it. Oh, a bit of extruded out of there. Leave the fly screen there. See what else is down here. Nothing in the box, is there? No boxes. Oh, there might be something in the box. Over squishy. Uh, uh, 
don't know whether they're picking this up today or not. Oh, it's only a piece of styrofoam. Nothing else there. Leave it. Yeah, we'll leave it. Yellow one. Yellow skipping. Yellow dumpster. I'm going to pick up this barbecue here. Looks like it's in good nick. Oh yeah. Leave them the paper. Hell yeah. That's yeah. not a bad looking barbecue, that. Alright. Oh, it's got some weight in it. Take that off. Good set of drawers. We might take those. What's this? A dishwasher? Geez, I'm going to struggle with that. What's in the box? Empty box. Nice set of drawers left out in the rain. Let's take those. They're a nice set of drawers, them. Didn't decide. I decided not to take the barbecue. More because of how much space I'll have. If I'd got the barbecue, I wouldn't have the room for anything else. So I just grabbed the heavies out of it. Grabbed the regulator. That sort of thing. So. This before it gets any more, gets ruined anymore. Save it. We certainly won't be doing cans today. I sort of stuffed up there, didn't I? I should have swung this around first. not getting much let's hope all right oh. I'm gonna cut the cord off that one can't get into it that'd be right oh there we go I'll leave these trays yes they are metal But they're a menace. I've dealt with them a fair bit and they are a menace. Sit there. Grab our snips. Where are they? <sighs> Take the cord. Those stainless, I think. 
I've got my magnet in there. I'll find out. Yep, yeah, I'll take that. No more there. That's only tin. Oh yeah, let's roll. Got a heater. Oh, vacuum cleaner. Always forget something. Better screw the heater on, eh? Right, we're not taking the heater, but we'll take the cord. What the devil's in that? Another heater underneath. Back and clean, and we'll just take the whole thing. Because of the motor that's in it. What the devil we got? Oh, damn printer. That's an empty box. I don't want the printer. No cords. No cords for the printer. What we got here? Feels like a chair. It is, it's a camp chair. Okay. Take that one. Later. Get. Oh, this will take the light. Got the ballast in there, leave the case in. Yeah. Leave the plastic there. Take that. Big out of steel attached to it. No, it's not. But we'll get it anyway. Plastic there. What have we got here? Some sort of Weber or cooker. Leave that. Another bit of light there. A couple of ballasts in it. It's already got cord on it too. Here in the front. <sighs> Nothing else. Not the best day to be street scrapping, but this stuff's going out. Nothing in the box. Oh, is there a bit of wire down there? I think. Have a look at that. Ditch my hand in there. Yes. Take that. Well, there's a bottle down there too. Ooh, definitely grab the bottle. Look at that. Nothing else there. Not bad little stool there. Oh, they've recovered it. That's what they've done. Anyway. Let's go. My door didn't shut. Got some whale through all this water. Alright. What have we got in here? Nope. Okay. Take that. What's this one? Yeah, we'll just take the parts off it. Yeah, take the parts off it. Take the knobs. 
around, around while the barbecue. Oh, the regulator is right here. That's about it. I might take the plates too. What plates? Oh, good day, bro. Where are you going? <laughs> oh yeah! <laughs> got those there in good nick. We'll put those on our on ours that we've got. Always needing parts. Never know when you'll need a thermostat. yesterday and they didn't have this drum in. I'll take that bit of copper. I wonder if I can get that off. Oh, I should be able to, it's only a bit of plastic. That's nice clean copper that. Oh, they got a fuel hose down here. I'll definitely take the siphon hose. So we'll have to get out of that. Limited space. Put that down that way. That in there. Right. Only if they'd put them out yesterday. Wow. Wow. Mmm, might have to reassess this and load them up back somehow. Mmm, dryer, two washers. Mmm, this one might go. Mmm, dryer might even go. I've got a heater call for that. Mmm, damn. Damn, damn, damn. Ah, uh, what am I going to do? Decisions, decisions, decisions. Damn, 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 damn. Bugger. Let me think about it. Had to repack it all. In the process, I got the fan on the ground. The this the dryer here has already got the motor gone, so I'm not going to worry about taking that. But these two, I'm going to sit up the back. As you can see, I've repacked everything, put everything that I could in the dishwasher. Uh, moving the drawers back, re rearranged everything in there. So we've still got a bit of room in there if we need be. Uh, I'm gonna grab a towel, put up against here. I've still got lights on the back. I don't need to use that one all the time. So I've only got a rope, a rope, a one, plural one. So we'll just put that across there. I won't be able to see anyway with the wash machines up there. The rain has eased a bit. In the process, I'll sit that across here so it doesn't mark our paint, and we'll try and lift these two up. We've got plenty more piles to go. Yeah, g'day, how you going, doggy? 
Right, we'll take the hoses off so they're not in the road. That one will feed straight inside. Come on, where are you? There you are. these on their backs if I do decide to get them working at least they're not going to have many scratch marks quality is what I look for how bad they are in condition like I might only get $75 for it but still when you look at $75 it's better off than scrapping it out right now this is going to be an effort and half I'm hoping I can lift that. I've got to lift it right with the knees. It's, it's to stride up. Stretch, stretch. And Evo! I've got it. I've got it. Got it there somewhere. There it is. Uh, wow. You know what? I might be better off leaving it upright. That no way the lid don't open. That's that one. That was the heavy one. Oh, what have we got in here? Okay. Take that out, that's part of the dryer. Yeah, that's all their screws from the dryer. They even took the heater fan out. Well, oh, not to worry. We're taking the washers. Let's hope there's not too many more of these. And the same with this. Huh, they took the motor but not the cord. Okay, I'll take the cord. Yonder, feed that into hole, push drum over, yonder, oh, come on, go in, thank you. doesn't get caught. Right, cord, what to do with the other one? Oh, I just flipped it over. I'll fix that shortly. Right, this one probably won't be as heavy. Cross fingers. Get it a bit closer. Right, grab the grip. Grab the grip. And up we go. Over oh, there. That didn't happen the way it was supposed to. A crane would be handy. Put our lid back on. Didn't break. Nope. That's good. Just broke my pride. Cutters. Right, 
let's roll. I'll tie that down. Alright, picking up a chair. Just for the alloy. It's broke anyway. See if I can get that out now. That should come out. I'll leave that behind. Put that up where that pile is. Geez, the ground's wet. I suppose it would be after all that rain. That one's that one's steel. I'm only taking the precious stuff at the moment. I might see if I can leave that together. I did get the other on. Get the most valuable materials. We'll just set it up there for now. Only going slow. Only if it was yesterday. Come on, people. Get with my program, please. What have we got here? No. Nope. There's a degreaser. A little bit in it. Oops. Yep, yeah, I got that yesterday. Yep. Yeah. Alright. Let's get to and not take it out. Someone's already beaten me to it. Ouch. Someone's already beat me to it. Jeez, that's been dragged out of the river. Yeah, no motor. Hmm. Damn. Oh, brake rotors. I'll take the brake rotors. Oh, yeah. Where the hell am I going to kill him in? Oh, we got a spot there, look at that. Anything else like that? Anything else? No, that's all timber. All timber. I think we're pretty good. well done. The dip can stay. I'm not lifting it. Right now. Let's go. Haven't got the room for this one, so I'm going to take it apart right here. I only want the motor and the wire out of it. So let's get to business. We'll put everything inside the drum. Going to leave the drum intact. Does that come off? Will that come off? Yes, that'll come off. There we go. Might be easier for me. All of our screws in there. All the wire, the solenoids. It's in these old washing machines, they're copper wire, not the alloy coated. Could take the the pressure sensor, water pressure sensor there as well. But I'm leaving it all there. It's quicker just to get the wire. Mercy dash, grab and grab and run, they say. Go through, snip every single wire. It's a bit time consuming. Leave the time controller there. Take that out. That's the main board there. Leave all the um, all the inlets there. I'll just pry them off with the screwdriver that I put on the ground. Right, what have we got here? That one there, neutral and a neutral. There we go. That one's intact. Take that. Take that. Take that. Yes, I've got to clip every single one of these. There is some of the old junky wire, but. I take the lot anyway. No point leaving it. Take the earth off. Oh, 
one more there somewhere there that's that out of the road Might pull that cut those off we'll get to that earth in a minute yeah i've got to go get that tool leave that earth intact just hope it doesn't start raining again been a real menace at home. What's that? That's that part. Put our junk in there. Cut that off. Put that down in amongst the pile. on top of their pile right this thing here for all of those people that cut it off that's how much extra you're losing so five seconds take the tops off them and you get the whole cord no point not getting the whole cord Right, do these solenoids. They've got the copper in them. One, two, a bit of wire there, move our top. Right. Bit better angle for everyone. Take uh that screw is fine that one's fine that one's fine no we've got to take those out or is there an easier way yeah there is an easier way leave them on there Got to go and get a different socket. Much easier just to go get the whole toolbox. You book it. I don't worry about the suppressor at all. Um, I don't find it's worthwhile. Yeah, I get a lot of them, but I just don't find it worthwhile. Didn't bring myself a hammer, but that will do. No drill, you're not going. You, I know you want to work. You'll get to work in a minute, mate. You pop that down. Pop it off. there get over there so don't tread on it earth wire that there cut these plastics on the back it saves you having to worry about going through and grabbing every single strand of wire they just come with it then watch is just disconnected and it's just turning him upside down well we won't turn him upside down it's only plastic all around anyway except for your casing so this is the easiest way that I'm finding put that in there so I don't lose it oh it's got two solenoid motors for the pump. Oh no, one's for the brake, one's for the pump. Do a bit mistaken there. Extra battery, cake of soap, wash the hands. Ah, uh, that is a fairly big one. 
Eight small. Uh, That's 15, probably 12. Probably the 12. No. 716. That's the 12 I just put up in there. 716 with the little adapter. Just had it. That's the Geo. Yes, I could get all the steel out of here too, but um, today I'm just looking for electrics. Where's that other one? I'm a bit handy definitely. Can't see what's going on. That's the motor. Screwdriver. Pop the clip. Pop that clip. Belt in the top, no use to me. Right, what have we got here? Okay, screwdriver. Uh, I'll do it that way, I suppose. I see, I see, I see now. But I was just chopping that off. Where's now the cutters? I'll just get the knife. Get the knife. One more to go, down here. Oh, there's me other cutters. Oh, bigger. That's the 12 mil. Oop, take that one off too. on their pile, take that, and that's is it, that's all it is to it, not much else to it, that's an easy one that one, bit of stretch ripping, why not, hey they're good old chairs then, if you can get some with good covers on them, I'm going to leave the rest for the council pickup. Hell yes, there's a radiator, treadmill. That fella wanted a treadmill. He wanted a treadmill. I remember from yesterday, he wanted a treadmill. 
try and get around the other side there. <laughs> Damn, whippy snip. We'll grab the whippy. <laughs> Another scooter. I hope that's stainless. Probably is. But we'll take that. Find some way of tying it down. Yep. Slosh, slosh. I'll have to deliver that treadmill. I've got his address. Get the motor out of it. I'm going to work out how I'm going to put this in. lift it maybe if I get a prop I could probably lift it yes get a prop this is all steel I think maybe Jeez. Mm, might leave the whipper snipper but I'm not leaving the scooters there are we alloy rim oh. Oh, there's two whipper snippers there yeah there's another one yeah. Let's see what happens just set them aside for now. Come on. There we go. Come on. That's come. That's come. That's come. Scrap metal delight right here. Anyone in scrap steel? How they take all this? I'm into it, but not that much. I think I'll give the good old whippy snipper a miss. A bit short on space. Oh, there's a fan under there. Havoc with me. You are. I'll take that like that. Sit me pile there. There's a welder there. Bit of alloy there. Bit of extruded. Another bit of alloy there. I hope I can fit this. More aluminium rims. I'm not taking them with tires. over there and you would get caught wouldn't you right that's my little pile might back up into there hopefully I don't get bogged another alloy rim yes it's an alloy rim an alloy frame. Yeah. Hmm. Treadmill. Down to the treadmill. Oh, it's on a dolly too. 
No, I don't want the dolly. Don't want the dolly. I just want the trade mill. Where's the motor gone? Oh, the motor's there. No, they've taken the motor. Well, I'll just take the, take the electrics. That's all I'll take out of it. Leave him the rest. At least I'm not taking it all the way home. I promised him it. Fella come around to me yesterday and asked me for, for a treadmill. It's amazing what happens when you find one. I've got his address. Go and put it at his doorstep. Sloshy, sloshy. No, another rim. That's a steel one. Is that another scooter down there? Oh, damn. Damn water. Oh, that was luck. Yeah, there's another scooter. Now, I did work out how to fold these up. This one's all seized up. That'd be right. Alright, we're going to find a prop for that anyway. Yeah, I got that. Alright, let's get some action going. Up we go, come on, up we go. I only want enough to put a bit of the bend in that. Oh, I bent it or I'd have broke it. Well, that sort of stuffed me, didn't it? Snookered me. You go like, turn that around. That'll hold it there. Sweet. Right, up and at him. I did. With the other heater I had too, I cut the cord off and left the heater behind. I didn't think it was worth it. I had to make room for other stuff, as we all see. Oh, that's nice and light. I'll make sure all this fits. I think I'd fit it all. Steel blades on that one. That down. At least I'm not taking the whole thing. Ha! Ah, slips. Not in me pocket. Whale through water. Need gum boots. Right. A bit of extruded alloy there too. 
I know what I said with the other one, like with the washing machine. Um, I've got to whale across here again. Step in, jump across, drill. Don't slip. Yes, on your on your bum. Right. You can have the whole thing. I just want the re remains. That's one's not gonna undo. Oh well. You don't wanna come off? We'll make it come off. Now it's loose. Every little scary can. Right. That's all I need. That's all I want. Put our prop down. Up there. Fit no more. Up we go. Put that up there. Go on delivery treadmill. Grab our pot. It's alloy. Not around all the rim there. Whoops, 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 whoops. Just spotted it. I think that one is too, I'm not sure. It may be. Where's my magnet? Yeah, she's alloy. Okay. Mm. Oh, we go again. Up. Oh. <sighs> that one's in. Geez, we're gonna have to try to with that one. Here we go. Go, 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 go in you. You thing. I almost said it, didn't I? Little higher. Little higher. There we go. Right up. There we go. Mickey Mouse. Can't fit no more in. I'd love to take the whipper snippers, but I'm full. It's so even a fold away chair there, aluminium. More aluminium rims, but they got the tyres on them. Anyway. Let's go and deliver this. Grab our alloy. Delivery treadmill. You can have the treadmill. He only wants the rollers. He must work on the council. He's not home, so I'll put it up near his door up here. I even set it up for him. Here we go. Good deed done. They got that much goddamn water, they're gonna pump it out of the town. <laughs> Holy dooly. Got three pumps going. Well, that's not pushing much. Sucking air, that one. Damn! Oh, look at 
cans in the water. Pity I can't get them. Oh, well. Got a lot of water in here. I'm going to have a look at the water level in later on too. So, yeah. Stay tuned. Start swimming! Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> ah dear. This is some part of the river. Some of it. Not all of it. I've never been in this little spot before. Hmm. She's over the bank here just here at the bank that's a lot of water great flow all in you can't even get across the other side unless you've got a boat great force of water yep not even going to attempt it I have drowned my car or oh, well, the other one in previous videos back I think it's over 12 months ago now um, Hydrolocked it <laughs> in the last flood we had. So yeah, this is higher than what it was then. So yeah. But anyway, that's a bit of it. Ah, uh, we'll go and see what it's at. See if we can find some more scrap too while we're on our route. Poor old caravan. I won't be getting no cans out of there tomorrow. She's currently at seven meters. Wow! I'll just pan around, show you how full this thing is. You can't even drive down there. They've closed the road off. This is how much rain we've had. Most of it's flood water. It's unreal. Caravan park's underwater. Won't be going in there tomorrow. No way, Jose! The office is actually underwater. Wacky do, look at that. It's got water in the office. Underneath the um, huts over there. So the huts are pretty good. They have had a higher flood than this. Um, back in, oh, I can't remember when it was. But um, she's just a well, very close to under the bridge. It's a lot of water. They call it big water for nothing. not good when the old bin over there starts floating and that's a metal one she's all hooked up it certainly is a sight to see there's never any water in here at all it's supposed to be a walkway in there and the road. That's the second bridge up there. Well, actually, it's the first bridge coming into town. Um, you've got the second bridge down here. Down over there. Damn good weather for the old ducks. Good time to be a duck. Drive the road here. They even flooded across there. Poor caravan park. Definitely no cans out of there.
bit more of a close-up of the old bin over here floating. Gives you an indication on how deep that is. More of the caravan park. This is looking back on the road. Crossing the road now, safe traffic, safe for the traffic to go boy. We'll have a look on this side. A lot of water. Got a good flow. This is the Murrumbidgee River at Darling Point, New South Wales. Here in Australia. Uh, we have had a lot of rain further down the stream, upstream I should say, not downstream, that's downstream. Damn lot of water. It has got some rapids on it. Wow, take this up a bit further. The uh, floating pontoon, still surviving way over yonder. Brand new pontoon they put in, a couple of year back. I'd hate to be on a chuka at the moment. All this rain they've had, they've had to put had to put a levee bank in to try and save the town. Or half of the town, three quarters of the town or something like that. But um, when you get it bubbling like it is, this is in the main section of the centre of it. Oh yeah, about here. Look at it swirling. Unreal. Just unreal. It's raging over here. Really raging. I haven't seen it at seven meters before. It's a lot of water. The sight to see when it is happening. You'd get carried away with that. That's a great torrent, that. It's a real eerie feeling when a truck goes over and he's fully loaded and it shakes the bridge, I tell you. <laughs> it's not good. You think, well, is the bridge going to collapse? No. The bridge is made fairly strong. Anyway, that's this side. Let's go and have a look at a bit more. This is the other side of the bridge. I've got a pump going over here, just over here, pumping all the water out of the town from last night's rain. It's like a big swimming pool if that fills up. Wow, she's just wow.
This poor fella's backyard's flooded. Man. Still got a fair way to go towards the top of the levee bank. Like, you're looking, oh, probably another two meters. The old pump shed, I think that was an old pump shed there, not sure. They just turned the pump off. Oh, they're refueling it. The boys over the back over here. They're refueling. Well, it's fair to say that when you look across to the town beach over there where that power pole is in the center of screen, there's no bin there. She's underwater. Wacky do. And this is how close I can get to our floating pontoon. They done a damn good job on that. They've got the gate right here where I'm at locked. I can't walk any further. They do call the town Big Body Water in the Aboriginal name. Real disturbing when you see an orange amber light on the electricity box lit. Not a good sign at all. Anyway, let's get back to the scrapping. Some more. Found some more. Take the call. Take the little bit I can take. We got around this other side. Oh, fridge, 12 volt fridge. Can. Hey, who says we're not getting cans today? I'll take that one. Move this stuff off there. Mmm, debatable. It's very debatable. It's not a compressor fridge. Got alloy in the bottom. There's plastic on the top. Mm, don't know. Don't know. Don't know. Don't know. Probably wouldn't get much out of it. Hmm. Well, how about we just do this? And we'll leave that whole fridge there. Just take that. So we'll get out of that. Oh, what the devil's that? Oh, okay, it can stay. Set that up there. Oh yeah. Let's move. Move on. Right. We just picked up, well, we haven't picked it up yet. I might take that rug, take the lacy curtain, and we're going to take that home. Take the whole lot off his hands. I don't know how I'm going to tie it on. <sighs> Damn good pine unit, that. We might have to get some electrical cord and tie it on. how I've tied that on. Take the rug. It's a nice looking rug that. Oh, that cleans your pile up. Well, that's going to do it for this episode, everyone. We got a fair bit of good stuff. Don't mind the uh, 
set of drawers here that's nice clean the grass out of there of course tie the handles up with a bit of electrical wire before i leave this spot so that way the top one doesn't slide out when i go around the corner um inside the dishwasher there i've done a repacking um and put a lot of stuff inside it so i'm not wasting space the dishwasher in the door is stainless and the very bottom section is stainless so that's why i've grabbed the dishwasher besides the little motors that are in the bottom there's two little pumps in the bottom besides the motor uh, we grab the set of lights here there's two of uh, holly bell aluminium rims two free ah fridges two washing machines up there that was a struggle getting them up there tied them down with a little bit of rope i had plus an electric cord hope it stays there uh, put a towel here so it doesn't scratch against the window or the juco fans you name it welder in there yeah totally love today being out in the wet certainly not cold anyway um hope everyone enjoyed watching the water in the murrumbidgee river here in darlington point new south wales australia um i've never seen it up at seven meters like that just unreal but anyway i'm going to end it off there everyone uh, i hope this one hasn't been too long for everyone uh tried to get a fair bit in the water so everyone knows what the town's coming up against they're pumping water out of the town at the moment because of the last night's rain i feel i don't know how much water they had how much rain they had i should say uh but they've in the process they've got pump stations at every pumping section and pumping the water out of the town because they had so much rain um it becomes a great big swimming pool and they've got to evacuate so that's why they're in pumping it out at the moment the water's not usually that high it's usually down around the three four meter mark so seven meters is a fair bit for the town still got a fair bit to go if they get any more rain it's looking like that we may probably in the next couple of days i'll get more rain but a lot of it's coming from upstream so yeah anyway on this note everyone i'm going to end it off there and if you've come this far don't forget to smash that like button uh, more people smash the like button the more more people get to see the video so and also if you consider subscribing don't forget to hit the notification bell that way you'll get notified when we put a new video out so i'm gonna end it off there everyone hope you've enjoyed tagging along today something different something new and i will see you all in the next one cheerio